It's that magical time of year again. The weather is changing, the leaves are falling, and everyone is out in the woods hoping a buck makes a mistake. I'm where the property we have here in Ohio. We're on the power line that butts up against that swamp. But then up on top of the swamp is two big ag fields. We have corn that's still standing. It's not got yet off here to our north side. It's all cattails with the river. So we're butted right against that, hoping that we can catch a deer coming from the thicket across up into the ag this evening. The wind is really tricky tonight. The wind is coming out of the south, southwest across this way. So where these deer are coming across at, we're only missing them by 15, 20 yards. So it's not much. So we're hoping it'll work. Uh, we checked the wind, it seems to be coming back into us, but we're going to find out. I'm 99% positive that our buck just stood up. I saw a butt stand up and turn, and then right away it dropped right back down. Pretty positive when he turns, you, you can see his times turn in the ground. Back. So I got a new lease in West Virginia. It's about 50 miles outside of Parkersburg. I uh, went down Thursday, October 20th in the middle of the day and set up in one of the stands that they already had on our lease with the other people and had does everywhere, uh, shot a doe and then had a buck come out at 615 and shot at him, hit him and put a bad shot on it because my bow hit a limb in the tree. It happens to everybody. Not everyone gets the perfect shot every time even in an open field. Yeah, so after the hit, I left the deer lay all night. Didn't want to disturb him, just got out of there. Uh, went back at 10 the next day and looked till around 2.30. Had blood for 400 yards, it was really good blood. So I was hoping I hit the artery and then it just dried up to nothing. And then we just continued to grid search around where he was or where I thought he went and just nothing else. Looking back at the footage, you can hear the top cam of my bow hit the limb. Uh, I hit him in his back leg, like right about where his knee bends, maybe a little higher. 
It just crap situation. The arrow snapped off. It must have hit bone and then the, it snapped off. I got the arrow back. It fell about 25 yards in front of me. And then he ran up to 12 yards and stopped. I tried to shoot him again, but couldn't get Drew back in time. Yeah, this is just a PSA to always check your surroundings before you shoot. I got a little tied up in the moment, got ahead of me and I didn't check my surroundings as best as I thought I was. I figured since I shot one before it was good, but different angle, different scenario. 